What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about lenses and what lens is best for you, especially for car photography starting off. Let's get right to it. So these are the two lenses plus my 16 to 35 f4 lens I have on right now that I use. Biggest recommendation would be this fifth millimeter and I'm speaking through Canon because that's what I use. So it's a fifth millimeter 1.4 this is in the nail series and I have this Hoya polarizer and I definitely recommend you get a polarizer for car photography. This would be my go-to lens that I always use for every picture. I'm gonna put some pictures up here and you can see the bokeh you get out of it is really insane. Just because you can go to a 1.4 really does insinuate how the car looks and how much of depth of field you can get with it. This lens right here is my 70 to 200 2.8. It's actually one of the old lenses I got from a store, a camera store. So it's not the brand new one. This was actually one of my cheap, cheaper lenses compared to my 16 to 35. So the reason I like this lens is because you can get so much compression out of it. And you see here in this picture how compressed the car is, how insinuate, how wide it looks, how little to the ground it looks. This lens is amazing. It's so sharp. The only thing I would say is if you're barely starting off, I definitely recommend getting a fifth millimeter just because you're going to find more uses on the fifth millimeter than you are going to use at the 70 to 200. So, this right here is my 16 to 35, and this is what I use for rollers. As you're going to see here, this lens is very wide, so being able to get everything in a picture while you're rolling is definitely why I got it. And it's an F4, but with rollers, you don't need a extremely fast lens so definitely this is a reason I got the f4 version also the fact that it was maybe like $600 cheaper than the 2.8 but you're seeing here the rollers are very crisp they're very sharp and another thing I use this for is landscape but since we're only talking about car photography this is just what I use for rollers and I really don't use this in still I only use this lens one time in stills and I'll put a picture up right here of my friend's Jesus, his um, Mercedes. And as you can see, you can see everything, the clouds, the trees, the grass, and the car. Thank you guys for watching. So this was just a quick video on what lens you should get when you're starting off, especially in car photography. And don't forget about polarizers. I always use Hoya polarizers, but you can use any polarizers as long as it's not extremely cheap glass because cheap glass is gonna really nerf your image. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.